Okay, so here we are way, way, way zoomed in on muscle. We have some proteins shown here that make up our contracting units of muscles. Here, labeled by 9A, we have a thin protein filament. What is 9A? It is actin. Over here, we have 9B, labeling the thick filament. What is 9B? It is myosin. So here we see actin zigzagging, and we see it again over here. These zigzags of actin are labeled by number 10. What is number 10? Here, from number 10, which is a Z-line, from Z-line to Z-line, filled with both actin and myosin, we have number 11, which is a single sarcomere, the contracting units of muscle cells. This is all inside of number 8. What is number 8? It is myofibrils. Myofibrils are these long strands of protein um, which we find inside of number 7. What is number 7? Number 7 is a muscle fiber or muscle cell. Because number 7 is a muscle fiber or a muscle cell, it has all the normal cell parts like number 14, which it has lots of. What is number 14? It is nuclei. Number 15 encases this entire muscle fiber, encases the muscle cell. Number 15 is? It is the sarcolemma, the fancy name for cell membrane. Number 12 are these little holes that extend into tubes that allow materials to move inside and outside of muscle cells. What is number 12? These are T tubules. Number 13 are these little networks of tubes that allow cal or control calcium ions as they flow into a muscle during a contraction. What is number 13? It is the endoplasmic reticulum. So we zoom um, out of our muscle cell or our muscle fiber. We see a bunch of muscle fibers here. And each muscle fiber is surrounded by a layer of connective tissue. What layer of connective tissue is number six labeling surrounding these muscle cells? It is the endomesium. This thing we just pulled out here, this entire structure, this is number five. We see a bunch of them over here. They're bundles of muscle fibers called, what is number five? It is a fascicle. <clears throat> number four surrounds these fascicles. It's a connective tissue surrounding each of these fascicles. Um, what is number four labeling? It is the paramecium. Then we start kind of our whole skeletal muscle, which is surrounded by another layer of connective tissue labeled by number three. What is that? It is the epimecium. The epimecium is surrounded by this candy wrapper-like material that is clear, and it's continuous with number one. What is number two labeling this candy wrapper-like material? It is the fascia. And finally, number one over here fuses with number two, fuses with that fascia and connects this muscle to our bone. What is number one? It is a tendon.